Okay, today I just wanted to talk about uh, how to get more range with your FPV equipment. Um, if you have something like any of the ready to fly kits or just a simple drone with FR Sky 200 milliwatts in it um, and you don't know why you're not getting the appropriate range or you see people online who are getting really good range uh, you're probably if you're using something like this any of the goggles that came with uh, basically any ready to fly kit um, your video receiver inside isn't the best uh, you're, you're not, I, I can't give you any specifications because they don't really put out specifications about little silly things like that they are in there. Um, can make a recommendation of first of all getting better antennas. Uh, I'd suggest with getting a patch and an Omni for that. You can try and find, they're called high gain patches. They're giant pie plate antennas that are, uh, the ones I've seen are often red. but they have uh, really high gain for your your distance that you're trying to go. The main thing that's going to be holding you back then is the 200 milliwatts in here. Often the ready to fly kits only have 200 milliwatts, and you've got Expre um, FR Sky in there. Uh, FR Sky is just notoriously bad for not going very far and losing signal randomly. So if you had, say, a 400 mil if you replace the video transmitter which you're probably not going to be able to because this is an all-in-one board uh, you would probably have replaced the whole board so if you stepped it up to something like this and got well this is a build but if you bought something that had Express LRS and 400 milliwatts then you need a radio so you need something that has a module in the back if you are looking at a game style radio, you could get something like the Radio Master Zora or the Commando. Um, those are really nice radios. They're a lot slimmer than this. I like that it has a touch screen and uh, I don't know, it just feels nice in the hand. But ma mainly all you're really looking for is that module there in the back. You have to buy it separately, but it just needs to have a module bay. There's the micro and the nano for that. The other thing that you're probably going to need, well, eventually going to want is a better pair of goggles and if you're looking at anything like sky zones or fat sharks or really any pair of goggles that uh, are regular uh, goggle shaped like this not the box goggles they're going to have uh, a port for your uh, module bay sorry uh, for something like the TBS um, module or a rapid fire module and those are basically the best ones that you're going to be able to get right now. Uh, the only other thing that stands up is probably going to be the clear view that comes inside of this. It's definitely comparable. It's not the best, but it is dramatically increased my uh, performance when it came to getting further. Uh, you don't need the OLED version of the box go of these goggles. You could go with the the cheaper version of the goggles. You can. I'm not sure if they still have a 60 frame per second DVR. If that's something you're interested in, but they will have the module bay and they will uh, come with a module inside of it. I'm not sure if you'll get the 3.3 or the 2.0 or whatever module inside of it. But either way, it is a it's a dramatic step up from what you're getting inside of this. <laughs> if you are looking into a pair of sky zones, awesome. Or likewise, you're going to need something like this. Any old multi-cell battery charger will do. I just like this for the portability factor. It's a toolkit RC. Um, up to four cell batteries, so I don't have to worry about any of the batteries that I'll be charging for the time being. If you're looking into 5 inch and 4 inch even and up, I definitely recommend getting a bigger one than I did. But I like my micros. So the biggest thing I have is like the Darwin Baby Ape, so that's not a big deal. Uh, the only other thing off the top of my head, let's do a quick rundown. Okay, so you replaced the antennas. You got another radio. You put the module inside the radio. You then looked at a new pair of goggles that probably aren't the OLED hopefully because they're very expensive then you get your module and you get your module bay put all that together 
and with a 400 milliwatt video transmitter you can do the things that you see me doing on my videos when it comes down to the range testing and the flying around of the park and diving a crane and so on and so forth uh, other than that I think that would be the the, the rundown oh um, little thing you might want to get is something like this so that you can use it with this um, then you can just charge any of this stuff basically anywhere um, just makes my life a little bit easier thanks for watching to, to the end of today's video here's your treat here's your trick and there's his treat